I hope you will tell your friends and leave us a five-star medieval Yelp review, Renaissance. Not really sure when this is supposed to take place. Somewhere in that ballpark, anyway. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Crossroads in here in the new mulligan where the bees are doing great. There's nothing we can do with this right now, but we've got bees and we've got honey and we've got wax. We can't do a darn thing with them. We've got a lot of turnips. Turnips are definitely happening. We are excelling in the turnip department and the gang's here moving all the stuff out of the way. Uh, do we have this pegged for demolition? Let's get that pegged for demolition, please. What I'd love to do today, if we can, is get some rooms set up. And by rooms, I mean the dormitory thing. Get some people staying overnight. What kind of thing are we looking at here? We need what? Not No, not doors. Doors are very, very silly. Uh, lodgings. There we go. A guest room, a private room, or a bathroom. Well, bathroom would be outstanding, but let's focus on a guest room right now. I don't have a ton of room to build that right at the moment, but we can get it started. Let's see if we just did sort of this and this. How much money do I have? How many guldens am I kicking around with these days? Uh, an amount, an amount. I'm going to try and put it off in the corner here with the idea that I'll expand the bar over here. So what if we did this, this, and this, and then uh, that's as far as I can go. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Now, we're going to need some kind of door. Doors need to happen, otherwise nobody's getting in here. I like... I like this door, because it, it's not very private. It's got a window in it, so you can look in and watch everyone sleeping, because that's not creepy. Okay, a sleeping room. Here we go. What is this? This is a basic bed. Yep, it sure is. That's about as basic as you can get. Can we do any better than that? Quite a bed. They're 500. Wow, I've spent a lot of money right now. I've spent a lot. I have very few guldens left. I think we're going to have to go with simple bed. I think simple bed is the way. Now, remember to leave room for people to get in and out of the beds. That'd be a smart idea. What if we started out with, say, five? I don't think they're going to be able to get into that last one. Let's do five. And then what else? What kind of things you need here? What is this? A punching bag. Is that something you want in your bedroom? I think it isn't. A classy chest for 250 could get that in there. What if we uh what if we did that sort of like that and that and that and not that apparently. Okay, you don't get a chest. Sorry, dude. And then probably a couple of lights would be handy, I would imagine. How about one there and one there? It's about all I can really afford right now. I've just spent all my guldens. Okay, somebody go and make sense out of everything that I just did, and we'll see if anyone actually wants to stay overnight. Well, there we go. Alakazam. Everything is, well, technically done. I personally would not spend the night here. This looks awful. But it exists, and we're going to go in, we're going to start cleaning some stuff. I can tell you right now I need more staff. I'm going to definitely need to hire somebody. Uh, so let's go with uh, Servant Zinat. What's your deal? You are gloomy, okay, and greedy, but you're a perfectionist. It'll take you longer to do things, but you'll do them really well. Karina, you are persuasive. Okay, I like that. But you're sickly, you're smart, and you are a workaholic. Okay, apart from the sickly thing, you're actually pretty good. Karina, you're in. I'm going to hire you. So that's two drudges, two servants, and a cook is what I've got right now. I don't think we're in the, the area where we really need a bouncer. Not right at the moment, anyway. I'm sure that's going to come up. But let's just see if anyone is actually interested in spending the night in the new mulligan. And how are we doing on stuff here? We've got a good amount of plates and mugs, got some sausages, plenty of water, plenty of turnips. Yay. All right, things I could use some more candle wax, or candles, indeed, at all. Think about... Maybe buying a few of them. Uh, what what what's the problem here? Oh, we've run out of uh, run out of candles, have we? Is that what's going on here? Got no lights going on. Can you? Oh, can you not get in there? Is that going to be a pathing issue where you can't get over the table to do that? Because that'd be real real fussy if you did. I'm gonna see how that goes. Yeah. Oh, well, this one's down too. Um, guys, we need to 
We need to replenish the candles, please. We could get replenish. I have candles in stock. Are you oh, you're doing it. Okay, good, good job, man. Is that server? Yeah, it is, server. Okay, good job on the candles, chief. Well, that definitely ups my need to get some candles in stock. Do you have? Yeah, you do. They're not, they're not cheap, but I'm gonna need them. All right, get a couple of those. What else while I'm here? Uh, maybe some lager, sure. Get one of those. Yeah, just stock up on booze, basically. I mean, it is a bar after all. Oh, you guys look important. What's your deal? What, what's going on with you? You all got floppy hats on. The floppy hat club just came in there. Except you. You've got a fez of some sort, which is just fun. It's really fun. What's your uh, What's your deal, Vaughn? You are, um, well, you're in townsfolk, apparently. And you need food and drink. We can definitely do that. You love the decor. Okay. Well, you seem like you're pretty chill about things. Where'd the fez guy go? Mr. Fez, what do you do? You're also a townsfolk. You need a, wow, you need a lot of food, man. How, when was the last time you ate? You need food times five and one drink. All right, well, the gang are going to work on it, dude. Don't get all fussy. You just sat down. First come, first served around here, Chief. Also, if you know any bards, could you tell them to come over, please? Because it's very, very boring. Is anyone spending the night? No, not a, not a soul. I could start prioritizing people, but I don't think I need to right now. I'm just going to leave you on medium priority for everything. Absolutely everything. If you see a thing, go ahead and try and do that at medium priority. When the place gets bigger, I'll start specializing people. Have somebody for cleaning, somebody for serving, etc., etc. But right now, there's only a handful of people in here. We're doing just fine. How are things going uh, over in the kitchen here? Got all the things we need? How's the, how's the inventory looking these days? Okay, well, we've got some, uh, got some beeswax. Don't need it. Got it, though. And we've got some honey. If anyone would like a tiny amount of honey, we're good right now. Oh, we did a thing, though. Yeah, we did a thing. We removed 15 objects. Let's make sure to claim that. What else could we be doing? Learn 10 recipes. Lay somebody off. Okay, but that'll just unlock five more employees. I don't really care about that. I'm really concerned with people who, um, are gonna give me... Fame points. And not people. I mean quests. I said people, but I really meant quests. First guest would be good. If somebody wanted to spend the night, there's a fame point right there. Some money for getting fame to 13 and then establish my first trade route. Okay, what can we do with that fame point? I do, I do kind of want to keep working towards the candle making thing. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, so I haven't unlocked the dormitory? I'm sh pretty sure I just built one game. But maybe this is the thing that allows us to rent the actual rooms out. Well, great. That's kind of on the path to candles anyway, so I guess I'll unlock that. Is there anything else that I've already done you feel I should do? Yeah, according to this, the guest room is up and running. It is It is functional. It's a three-star guest room, no less. In fact, it wouldn't kill me to put a little decoration up in here, would it? How about furnishings and decoratives? Now, the, the gang that are coming in... Well, they'd probably appreciate a statue of a naked person. I mean, hey, who wouldn't? But is that really what I need? I could use the folding screen. That is, well, technically decorative. It's okay. It kind of work over here. How about if we tuck that in the corner there? It's not the prettiest one, but it is the cheapest one. What else could we get going around here? What is this again? A circus podium for a bard. Oh, good. Clowns are going to happen. Neat. Great. We'll all look forward to that one. How about a, a sheaf? Do we want a sheaf? I'm going to put a sheaf up in there. I think I put it in the wrong place. I don't think anyone can get behind that, but I'm putting it up anyway. There. The dormitory, such as it is, is slightly more decorative. I'm almost out of gurdens. I should probably keep a closer eye on my gurdens. Eh, we may as well get some more turnips going on. In fact, you know what? Why don't we make that one an automatic one? That will just be permanent turnips. I'll make some medicine. Again, we're not really offering employee health care at this time, but it might happen. It could happen. We're paying some wages. I'm losing gurdens like they're going out of style. I'd love it if somebody spent the night here just to justify my beds. Now, you're in, but you want, like, a private room, don't you, Elena? 
What are you? You are a fighter. Yeah, you're going to want a private room. I, I can't do anything you're with that. Toy. I mean, if you want to just check into the dormitory. Oh, you did. Oh, good deal. Great. I thought the key was a private room symbol. No, no, you're into that. Well, great. That should, uh, is that tick off my fame point right away? No, probably when they leave, I'll get that. Elena, would you like to use the sheaf when you get up? I don't know what it is or what it does. It appears to be just a bale of straw. But it's there for your use if you'd like to have that. It's very decorative. I think you can stand and look at it. It's also blocking any entrance to the private screen. So if you're thinking of getting changed behind there, ain't gonna happen anymore. Oh, you're spending the night too. All right, great. Well, this will be a little bit of money coming in. Speaking of a little bit of money, what are we actually charging for this again? 25, but they're wicked happy to pay it. Okay, good. I'm okay with that. They can be wicked happy to pay 25. Later on, I'll make... Ah, there we go. Later on, I'll make them meh for a higher price. Uh, oh, we did this. Oh, 100 pieces of firewood we did. Okay, cool. I'm still waiting for the first guest one. Well, Elaine is out the door. She seemed to be pretty happy about things. Does that check my... My thing here? First guest? Yup. What exactly is it you want me to do? Maybe that's for a private room. Hmm. I'll keep an eye on that. I feel I've done this. Somebody did indeed spend the night. But maybe it's for a private room kind of thing. I don't know if we're jumping on that today. Probably not. Not with the slim amount of gruddens I've got kicking in there. Although you just paid 57 for something. I like you. Uh, oh, Vaughn's back. Right, room looks dull. It is dull, Vaughn. And somebody in comments did have a really good suggestion about putting a door on the kitchen so the employees can get, you know, in and out without having to walk all the way around the building. There you go, guys. Hopefully that'll make things a little bit faster. We are out of wood on the torches. How's the candle scenario doing these days? We still got 20. Okay, we should have plenty of wood. Yeah, we're fine on wood right now. Both regular wood and chopped wood. And we are, um, yeah, we are chopping wood. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, you're doing it right now. Is that Sperver again? It is. You are just a champ, and I love your hair. Ah, oh, the torches require fat. That's a problem. Because I have no idea where to get that. Nobody locally has it at, at all. And that, that's still a bank, Dave. You've been looking at that for three episodes. It's still a bank. Can I do anything with Plowvin yet? Probably not, no. Okay, what could I do to increase my influence then? Like, how do I make that happen? Increase influence. Five blue things. Well, I've got 13 of them. Great. There's my trade route right there. And what do I get here? Lowers the cost of goods. Uh, sure. I'm going to be trading there hopefully pretty soon anyway. Well, can I now get a trade route established? You've got, well, you got candles. You didn't exactly have what I want. 22 green scrolls or 550 gruden. I'd rather pay the scrolls. Well, maybe they will have fat. I don't know. We'll see. They do. Excellent. All right. So let's get a bunch of this in stock. Got a little bit of gruden's coming in. What else do you have? You're really keen on cabbages. I'm not, honestly. Moonshine. Huh. Put that on the menu. It's very, very expensive. I bet it would sell well, though. Interesting idea. Have a think about that. I really just kind of want the fat at this point, but I kind of like to mess around with the moonshine. I'm going to... I'm going to spend more money than I want, but I'm going to get those. I could... If I had some more green scrolls, I could get a discount, but no, no, that's fine. Let's get that on the menu. And then go back to the mulligan. Guys, we're putting moonshine on the menu. Wait, we're out of bread and garlic? Already? Are you serious? We're out of all of this stuff. Wow. Okay, we are. You're not wrong. Oh, I needed to do a much bigger order. I didn't realize we were getting wrecked on food that quickly. Guys, um, turnips. Push the turnips, okay? Really push the turnips. If anyone asks for anything, advise them turnips are a better choice. Now I need a bunch more Grudens to get this party started. Well, there's some Grudens right there. 500 for establishing my first trade route. All right, well, let's get back out on the town here. Um, what kind of, what, what am I really kind of missing here? No, go to that. Uh, garlic bread. Yeah, I need bread and garlic. No surprise. Bread. 
All right, primarily bread. Can I add that moonshine in here? Is that a thing that could happen? Are you kidding me? I ordered moonshine and I can't put it on the menu? Okay, that's less than encouraging. Well, I've got one of the three and four ingredients for the salad and it's turnips. Largely, it's turnip salad. All right, I'm going to Incredible Farmers for the bread because their bread is fairly inexpensive. Their garlic is a little outrageously priced, though. How's Plowvin doing? Now, that's Cursed Bill. I don't know you, actually. Apparently, you're cursed. How are you doing on garlic? You're better on garlic. You're not bad on garlic. What else have you got kicking around here? Various stuff. Moonshine. Well, apparently, I'm not going to buy that again. Maybe I have to unlock something to put that on the menu. Uh, go, no, no, go to Plowvin. How are you guys doing on garlic? No, I think the other guy, I think Billy over here was slightly better. Eh, six of one, half dozen of the other. Get a couple of things of garlic in. All right, that plus the bread plus some other sundry items should hopefully alleviate the garlic bread crisis that we're having. Shadow Monastery, you're up and running now. What can I get out of you? At a good price on eggs. Not much on everything else. Yeah, everything else is a little bit on the expensive side. There we go. There's my cup of moonshine. Okay, it is in here. Great, and the outlaws like that. Well, hopefully we'll be able to unlock them fairly soon. You guys are met at 61. How about you were really ecstatic at 57? 57 for a cup of moonshine. I don't have a ton of it, and it is a little pricey on the world map. But hey, variety, that kind of thing. How are the bees? Bees are good. Are we out of turnips already? Okay, get some more turnips, whatever. I got two fame points that I'm not doing anything with. Is there something I'm seeing here that says unlock the bards? Release the bards. Unleash the bards. What is this? Unlocks larders for storing meat. Okay, that's cool. Could just get the outlaws right now. And then that'll still kind of keep me working up towards candle making. What have we got here? More storage objects. Guess we'll start leaving tips. And that will get me to take a fee from people using the outhouses. Oh, hello. Employees will travel faster. Number of employees. Trying to get up here. Unlocks a candle maker, which is exactly what I want. We can become self-sufficient in candles. That's really good. I'm going to unlock... The outlaws. And then what path do I want to take here? Amount of money people are willing to pay for food and drinks. Yes. Why would I not want that? Okay, and that'll get me bumping up towards candles. We can probably do that pretty quickly. Uh, number of employees and then write to candles or reduce cost of advertising, supply carts, etc, etc. How do I unleash the bards? Now, you say you're willing to pay more for food and drink. Where is my garlic? That should be coming in hopefully pretty soon. Let's take the bread soup, for example. You're at 62 now and you're happy. How much more are you willing to pay? Not that much more. 65 though. You know what? That's better than not 65. How much can we bump you up? Ooh, not much. 57. All right, they're not that chill to Your pay more money, but they will up. pay a little bit more. There we go, 60 for some moonshine. How about some of the basics here? Just a regular old lager. That, you, that we can get up to 35. Okay, a little bit more money coming in. That's not a bad thing. Weirdly, I don't have enough influence to get a trade route at Crossroads itself, even though I am the Crossroads Inn. Thankfully, I do have just enough blue scrolls. I bet I don't have enough to actually buy the trade route, though, do I? Oh, it's only 100. Oh, yeah, we can do that. We can totally do that. Now, Crossroads, what have you got for sale? Probably a little bit of everything. I need some more lager. I'm running a little... Ooh, you're pricey on that. You're pricey on a lot of stuff, actually. That garlic, I'm not paying that for garlic. You're out of your mind if you think I'm paying that for garlic. No, your, your prices are actually surprisingly high. Okay, how about, well, actually, do I buy anything at the Eastern Outpost? What's going on in here? Bread pudding, berries, eggs, I believe that's cream, I think. All right, we probably won't bother with that. Let's go back to Plowvin. Now we got one of our first outlaws turning up here, Karsten. He just needs a bite to eat. Prices are so low. I'm glad you think so. I hope you will tell your friends and leave us a five-star medieval Yelp review. 
Renaissance. Not really sure when this is supposed to take place. Somewhere in that ballpark, anyway. I hope you'll leave us a very positive five-star review on whatever peer review site that you traditionally use in this era. 60, and you were happy to pay it. 60, and you thought our prices were low. I like that. Uh, is anyone planning on using the outhouses? Because I'd like to start charging money for that. Oh, you know what I am going to need is some more shelving soon. Yeah, shelving's getting a little tight. Hello, dog. I uh, We don't want to tame you. Actually, no, I'd, I'd actually like it if you go away. Uh, sorry, hang on. Are you a dog or a cat? Oh, never mind. You're a kitty. Oh, you can come right in. You can come right in. Yeah, walk right in with server here. Yep, kitty's just moved right in. Just like a cat. Just doesn't care. Just walked in and said, I live here now. Now I'm going to start crying at people. Um, we're not actually... We're not actually going to... Stop doing that. We're not actually going to tame you right at this point, because that's, first of all, not fundamentally how cats work. We don't domesticate cats. Cats domesticated themselves. Uh, and also, we're just not ready for kitties right now. We will be later. There will be plenty of kitties later, just not today. And another fame point for just having a bunch of people be relatively okay with our service. What about... I do want to get up to candle making. There's no question of that. Wouldn't mind getting some other food items, like tomatoes. Not a bad idea. Beans. Garden trellis for growing climbing plants. How about... We just got started on tomatoes. Yeah, let's grow tomatoes. What is this again? The cauldrons. I I have one of those, game. I to uh, Wait a minute, there's bards right there. Bards are right there. Okay, well then we're definitely going tomatoes. And then the next one, I can get some bards in here, much to my chagrin. Okay, let's go get some more things growing here. Are you done? You look like you're going to be done in a second, so I'll just put tomatoes over there. And it's as much a surprise to me as anyone else, but I feel, at least right now, I'm kind of keeping my head above water money-wise. We are gradually gaining money, even though I'm spending quite a bit of it. Uh, speaking of which, let's check the check the inventory here. Are we low on anything? Not, not as such. We're looking pretty good right about now. Wine, lager, cider, moonshine's getting sold. Good. Plenty of bread, eggs, and fat. Okay, that's primarily what we're dealing with now. Bread, eggs, and fat. Uh, yeah, if somebody wants to go harvest this, I would be more than happy to put tomatoes there instead. Now, let's take a little bit of that money and get another shelf going on. That would uh, be a very obvious thing to be doing. So facilities, uh, yeah, there we go. Just a regular shelf, please. Nothing fancy. Could live right here. Just so we have more storage space to put stuff on. We are, we're looking a little tight over here, definitely. Oh, Elena's back. Elena was obviously so very happy with our service the last time she came back. What is this trait? Oh, it's dot. Okay, I don't know what that trait is. Your trait is dot. And you are careless. All right, you're careless and dot. But you seem to be broadly happy with everything. Again, especially the prices thing. I'll raise the prices later, but right now, if this is just getting people to love the place and keep coming back, and then we'll jack up the prices later when we've lulled them into a false sense of security. We're getting some more woodcut. Aha, you are finally done. Great, let's uh, plant some... Where's my tomatoes? Does that go on a trellis? If I bungled this... I bungled this, haven't I? That needed to go on a trellis, didn't it? What does that do? That's furnish. Okay, fertilize, water. I don't want automatic planting. No, I wanted tomatoes, but tomatoes are... I suppose technically a climbing thing, I guess, in their way. All right, well, that was silly. I'm going to take just a little bit of money and put up a few more decorations. I'll put the flower pot over there because the unwashed peasants seem to love that. I'd let, Yeah, there we go. Round shield. The outlaws would love this kind of nonsense. I could definitely see putting one or two of those up. How about right behind this table, put one there. And then one right like that. Keep those guys nice and chill. Hopefully they'll like the decor around here. All right, one more check on the inventory. How are things doing? Not bad. Plenty of turnips. Good, good. Could use some more chopped wood, but I see one of our drudges is over there working on that right now. Fat, we have an amount. I'd love to see more of that. Possibly some more cider in the near future. Doing great on the honey. Don't need it for anything. Moonshine is getting sold, albeit rather slowly. 
Okay, and lots of wax. If we ever do get up to candle making, we're going to be swimming in candles. That is probably an excellent place to call it on Crossroads Inn for today. We've got our dormitory, such as it is, up and running. It's not spectacular. I personally would not stay there. But everyone else seems to think it's a three-star hotel, and I'm willing to accept that. We're on a path to Bards. Yay. Yay. But Bards will happen reasonably soon. Hopefully that'll make people more happy that they won't be bored around here all the time. And we'll pick up some more Crossroads in again next time. Guys, do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. It's quarter of six in the middle of northern Siberia. I have no pants on and I'm going bird watching. This is what we're doing right now. And why did the robot dogs make their off switch in such a blindingly obvious place that anyone could reach? I mean, it seems to me when the robot dog apocalypse comes, it's going to be fairly manageable. Is it just a show about foxes all the time? If so, is that some sort of subtle esoteric thing about being a weapons manufacturer? Or is it just stuck on the nature channel? Okay. All right. Oh, God. A new incident. Um, childbirth. You know what? You know what, lady? Lady? We've been doing this for billions of years. Do you think you can handle this one by yourself, please?